Now I'm a flying talking donkey. Today, we are going on a great journey of Shrek, America and the world's favorite ogre. Full transparency, I have obviously, like most of you, seen this movie, but it was a long time ago. And this is Andrew's surprisingly first watch, which, like the rest of you, I said, what? <laughs> All right, let's go. Once upon a time, there was a lovely princess, but she had an enchantment upon her of a fearful sort, which could only be broken by love's first kiss. Of course. She was locked away in a castle, guarded by a terrible fire-breathing dragon. She waited in the dragon's keep, in the highest room of the tallest tower, <laughs> for her true love and true love's first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> oh, there we go. Such a good character intro. Remember when they used to always introduce the older fairy tale movies Did with it? the book? Yeah. Disgusting. God, I haven't heard this song in so long. <laughs> it's bringing back memories. It's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Get your pitch for it. Do you know what that thing could do to you? Yeah. It'll grind your bones for its bread. <laughs> yes. I guess well, a pitchfork would be a good be weapon a in the days mm. before better weapons. Now, ogres, oh, they're much worse. They'll shave your liver, squeeze oh, no. the jelly from your eyes. <laughs> Back! I warn you! Period. Right. <laughs> Aww. Ew, 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 ew. My man's needs a dental checkup ASAP. This is the part where you run away. All right, let's get our cardio on. <laughs> Wanted fairy tale creatures. <sighs> oh no. <gasps> oh. Silver for the witch. Next. Fascism in the fairy tale community? Pinocchio! And I'll never be stopping again. I can change. Please give me another chance. Oh, shut up. Hey. I've got a talking donkey. <laughs> well, that's good for 10 shillings. If you can prove it. Oh, I go ahead, little fella. Get her out of my sight. That's what no, you no. got. I swear. Oh, take it <laughs> Make him fly, Tinkerbell. Hey! He can talk. talk. <laughs> That's right, fool. Now I'm a flying talking donkey. Think happy thoughts. <laughs> oh no, brother. Uh, oh. oh no. Ah! <laughs> Run! Wow. It's an agile donkey. By the order of Lord Farquaad, <laughs> I am authorized to place you both under arrest and transport you to... A designated resettlement facility? <laughs> oh, really? You in what army? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You better run. Can I just tell you that you was really great back then, man? Those gods, they thought they was all of that. Then you showed up and bam! <sighs> really? Man, it's good to be free. Now, why don't you go celebrate your freedom with your own friends? <laughs> but, uh... I don't have any friends. No. Hey, wait a minute. I got a great yes. idea. I'll stick with you. You a mean green fight machine. Together we'll scare the spit out of anybody that crosses us. <laughs> that was really scary. You need a Tic Tac. don't mind me saying, if that don't work, your breath certainly will get the job. <laughs> you definitely need some Tic Tac. Hey. Why are you following me? Cause I'm all alone. <laughs> There's no one here beside me. <laughs> Come on, Shrek. Who doesn't want a talking donkey that sounds like Eddie Murphy? It's no wonder you don't have any friends. Such a good unlikely <sighs> pair. Only a true friend would be that truly honest. <laughs> Look at me. What am I? Uh, really tall? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an ogre. You know, grab your torch and pitchforks. Doesn't that bother you? Nope. He doesn't judge a book by its cover. What's your name? Uh, Shrek. Roll credits. You got that kind of 
I don't care what nobody thinks of me thing. I like that. I the animation is so all good. Right. right? It's not dated at all. I guess you don't uh, entertain much, do you? I like my privacy. I feel you, Shrek. Like, I hate it when you got somebody in your face, you trying to give them a hint, and they won't leave. <laughs> then there's that big awkward silence, you know? I love Donkey. Can I stay with you? Uh, what? <laughs> You gotta let me stay, please, please. Okay, okay. But one night only. Oh. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, <laughs> I'm making waffles. Ooh. Where do uh, I sleep? Outside. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know you, you don't know me, so I guess outside is best, you know. <laughs> Here, I Here I go. Good night. <laughs> I mean, I do like the outdoors. I'm a dunk. I was born outside. <laughs> Aww. I thought I told you to stay outside. I am outside. Oh. Well, gents. It's a farm stealing. Farm. Oh, no. What choice do we have? Well, it's not home, but we'll do just fine. Ha! <laughs> What are you doing in my house? Hey! Snow White! Oh, no. oh God. Oh, no. What are you doing in my uh -oh. snow? I paid for this land. I'm gonna see this guy Farquaad right now and get you all off my land and back where you came from. Yeah! Leader! Yeah. You're coming with me. It's like a very simple ogre. He just wants to be left alone. No! That's enough. He's ready to die. <sighs> He's torturing. Oh, gingerbread man. He cut off his legs. Now tell me, where are the others? Eat me. Oh. <sighs> tell me, or I'll... No, not the buttons. Not my gumdrop buttons. All right, then. Who's hiding them? Oh, that's John Lithgow's voice. I'll tell you. Do you know... The Muffin Man. You know the Muffin Man. She's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! She's married to the Muffin Man. <laughs> we found it. Well, then what are you waiting for? Bring it in! This movie has some dark themes. Like that's incorporating all the fairy tales. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Is this not the most perfect kingdom of them all? Well, no. technically, you're not a king. Mirror, mirror on the wall? You were saying? What I mean is, uh, you're not a king yet, <laughs> but but you can become one. All you have to do is marry a princess. Go on. Go on. Sit back and relax, my lord, because it's time for you to meet today's eligible bachelorette. Let's see who he's gonna swipe right to. Bachelorette number one is a mentally abused shut in from a kingdom far, far away. <laughs> she likes sushi and hot tubbing. Ooh, that's a good choice, sushi. Please welcome Cinderella. Cinderella. Mm. Just kiss her dead, frozen lips and find out what a live wire she is. Come on, give it up for Snow Oh my White. god. <laughs> Bachelorette number three is a fiery redhead from a dragon guarded castle surrounded by hot oil. Oh, that's who we saw in that story Shrek was reading at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yours for the rescuing, Princess Fiona. Number three. Lord Farquaad, you've chosen Princess Fiona. All I have to do is just find someone. But I probably shouldn't mention the little thing that happens at night. I'll do it. Yes, but after sunset. Silence! Yes. Captain, assemble your finest men. We are going to have a tournament. Shrek's <laughs> face is so good. <laughs> Sounds like hell. Oh, first pick. If for any reason the winner is unsuccessful, the first runner up will take his place. Is the dragon's name Smaug? Ha! <laughs> yes, it's Benedict. Let the tournament begin! What is that? <laughs> it's hideous! Oh, that's not very nice. Oh. It's what a just hater. a donkey. No. <gasps> uh, Knights, new plan. The one who kills the ogre will be named champion. How about him? Can't we just settle this over a pint? Kill the beast, kill the beast. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. The soundtrack is so good. Yes, bad. donkey. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> no pun intended. 
Yes. Yes. Double close line. We love it. <laughs> Is this going to make him want him to go after Fiona? Oh, ankle lock. Oh, pile driver. Loving all these wrestling moves. Do you watch WWE? I used to. Back in the day, I was obsessed. When, like, The Rock, Stone yeah. Cold, Steve Austin, The Undertaker, Kane. Back in, like, 2001. Actually, right around this time. <laughs> so you would have loved this. Oh, yeah. I would have been like, hey, these are the wrestling moves I watch all the time. People of you lock, I give you our champion. What? That's how society is, man. Go on this quest for me, and I'll give you your swamp back. What kind of quest? Definitely not going to double cross you. <laughs> going to go fight a dragon and rescue a princess just so Farquaad to give you back a swamp, which you only don't have because you filled it full of freaks in the first place. Is that about right? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's a good reason Donkey shouldn't talk. He's making a good point, though, Shrek. For your information, there's a lot more to ogres than people think. Example? <laughs> ogres are like onions. <laughs> they stink? Yes. No. I love onions. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. This is deep. Everybody loves cakes. Cakes have layers. I don't care what everyone likes. Ogres are not like cakes. That's good. Whoo, Shrek, did you do that? It's brimstone. We must be getting close. Yeah. Don't be talking about the brimstone. I know what I smell, and it wasn't no brimstone. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Man, the animation. The voice work is so good, oh, yeah. too. Oh, like, Very talented. You can't tell me you're afraid of heights. No, I'm just a little uncomfortable about being on a rickety bridge over a boiling lake of lava. I feel a that. Amen. Just keep moving. I don't look down. Okay. Look down. Look down. Ah! Trick! I'm looking down! Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh, let's have a dance then, Oh my god. This is oh, terrifying. I'm sorry. Do what? Uh oh. Guess that was one way to motivate him to go that way. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he has to be a fire sign. That's like crazy teaching to get you to the other side. Now go over there and see if you can find any stairs. What well, makes you think she'll be there? I read it in a book once. Is it gonna be Maleficent or just a random dragon? Well, cool. You handle the dragon, I'll handle the stairs. Oh, I'll find those stairs. I'll whip their butt too. That's right. Those <laughs> stairs won't know which way they're going. Mm hmm. You go. Don't mess with me. I'm the stair master. I've mastered the stairs. I wish I had a step right here, right here, and now I'd step all over. Ah! Well. well. At least we know where the princess thief. is. But where's the dragon? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. There you go. Oh, hello, Fiona. No, oh no, no! Huh? Oh, what large teeth you have! Oh. I know you probably hear this all the time from your food, but you must bleach or something, cause that is one dazzling smile you got there. And do I detect a hint of minty freshness? <laughs> You're a girl dragon. Oh, Aww. sure. I mean, of. Of course you're a girl, dragon. Charm and flattery will get you so far. Oh, we go together. I like you. You're coming with me. It was love at first sight. Wake up. What? Uh. This beeth our first meeting. Should it not be a wonderful... Romantic moment. Yeah. Sorry, lady. They're hey, tight. Wait. Like, this is not your typical fairy tale. Sorry, Fiona. But we have to save for this moment. You could recite an epic poem for me. Not much to ask for, my guy. Eh. Okay, that was pretty suave. It talks. Yeah, it's getting them to shut up. That's the trick. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Yeah, getting tangled there. I'll take care of the dragon. Cut. 
Ja. Uh. Oh no! Ah. You better get to going. I'd be mad too, girl. I feel you. Oh. Like, I was just minding my business, oh, and you bring me this man and take him out of my life. How dare you? I don't like ogres. Thy deed is great, and thine heart is pure. I am eternally in your debt. I love when she talks Shakespearean. A princess locked in a tower and beset by a dragon is rescued by a brave knight, and then they share true love's first kiss. Sounds about right to me. Let's just say I'm not your type, okay? Of course you are. You're my rescuer. Now, now remove your helmet. I order you. Still want to kiss him? Oh, no. This is all wrong. You're not supposed to be an ogre. Don't be shallow. <gasps> I was sent to rescue you by Lord Farquaad, okay? He's the one who wants to marry you. Well, then why didn't he come rescue me? He's a coward. You can tell Lord Farquaad that if he wants to rescue me properly, I'll be waiting for him right here. I'm no one's messenger boy. I'm a delivery boy. You wouldn't dare. Ah, you coming, Donkey? Oh, yep, I'm right behind. Ah. Yeah, girl. And what if my groom to be? Farquaad is a very. Farquaad. What's he like? Very nice guy. He sucks. Men of Farquaad's stature are in short supply. <laughs> There are those who think little of him. <laughs> I like these puns we're going with here. You know, you're just jealous that you can never measure up to a great ruler like Lord Farquaad. Girl, you don't know what you're talking about. I'll let you do the measuring Status when you see him everything. tomorrow. Tomorrow? Shouldn't we stop to make camp? No, that'll take longer. Should probably tell her you couldn't even get on most roller coaster rides. There's robbers in the woods. I'm scarier than anything we're gonna see in this forest. I need to find somewhere to camp now. She said now. Well, gentlemen, I bid thee good night. Um, you want me to come in there and read your bedtime story? Cause I will. I said good night. Don't make me repeat it. There's Bloodnut, the flatulent, and there's the group of hunters running away from his stench. Man, that ain't nothing but a bunch of little dots. <laughs> you know, Donkey, you know, sometimes things are more than they appear. Hmm? Forget it. Truck's a deep guy. He's got layers. Mm-hmm. What are we gonna do when we get out of swamp anyway? Donkey, there's no we. There's no our. Aww. And the first thing I'm gonna do is build a 10-foot wall around my land. I think this whole wall thing is just a way to keep somebody out. No. Do you think? Hmm. What you got against the whole world anyway, huh? Look, I'm not the one with the problem, okay? It's the world that seems to have a problem with me. Uh -huh. People take one look at me and go, ah, help, run! A big, stupid, ugly ogre. Yeah, but donkeys never said that to you. They judge me before they even know me. Aww. That's why I'm better off alone. This movie's so good. When we met, I didn't think he was just Bro, See, romance. that's what I was just saying. Yeah, I know. Mm, that's a beautiful shot of in the moon. Are there any donkeys up there? Well, there's um, Gabby, the small and annoying. <laughs> Big shiny one right there, right? That, that, that one there? That's the moon. <laughs> 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 I do this every morning. I was going to say, she definitely has a fairy princess's voice. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my God. This movie. <laughs> that is dark. Ah. <gasps> no. <gasps> oh, no. no. Oh, no. What the hell? She's savage. That is really dark. Yeah, you know I oh, like gosh. That is so dark. Well, baby, come on, I said, I like it, you're right. Okay, wake up. Huh? What? <laughs> well, eat up. We've got a big day ahead of us. <laughs> Shrek? What? It's a compliment. Better out than in, I always say. <laughs> well, it's no way to behave in front of a princess. <laughs> Thanks. She's as nasty as you are. <laughs> <laughs> They're perfect. Hey! Oh, princess! Robin Hood? 
And I am rescuing you from this green beast. Is it Pabela Peel? Oh, merry man! I still from the rich and give to the needy. Takes a wee percentage. But I'm not going to die! Monsieur Who? Take it down. Because I'm about to stop! Dude, you're robbing her, not Gaston. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Whoa. Yes. Oh, damn, Fiona. Yeah. Matrix. Hell yeah. Sick. Did she really need rescuing? <laughs> no. Back there, that was amazing. Where did you learn that? Kung Fu Princess. Fiona. When one lives alone, uh, one has to learn these things in case there's a... There's an arrow in your butt. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> Run into the woods and find me a blue flower with red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. Okay, I'm on it. Blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. Don't die, Shrek. And if you see a long tunnel, stay away from the light. Donkey! Okay. <laughs> what are the flowers for? For getting rid of donkey. Ah. Smart. Blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. This would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. <gasps> Hold on, Shrek, I'm coming! <laughs> Okay, I can really Ooh. see that. It's just about... Ow! Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> Nothing happened. We were just... Uh, mm. The princess here was just... Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's... Is that blood? <gasps> Donkey. A family. Oh my god, this is like cotton candy. Ugh. And yet so romantic. <gasps> oh, a frog balloon? Uh, oh. Okay, that's creative and inventive. <laughs> this is romance. Chivalry isn't dead. Yes, we're floating to the sky. There it is, princess. Shrek thinks Lord Farquaad is compensating for something, which I think means he has a really. Oh! Um, I. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> I'm worried about Donkey. What? I mean, look at him. You look awful. Do you want to sit down? Well, I didn't want to say nothing, but I got this twinge in my neck, and when I turn my head like this, look. <gasps> donkey! Hey, where are you going? They don't want to leave each other. Oh, yeah. Man, I can't feel my toes. I don't have any toes. <laughs> I think I need a hug. Aww. You need your wife, your dragon wife. Ugh. A weed rat. Yeah. Rotisserie style. Yucky. I guess I'll be dining a little differently tomorrow night. Maybe you can come visit me in the swamp sometime. Is he inviting someone to visit him? That he always wants to be alone. I, um, I was wondering, are you... Enjoying your weed rat. Are you going to eat that? Uh, too afraid. Man, isn't this <laughs> oh, romance? Oh, donkey! Sunset. Sunset? Oh, no. I, I mean, it's late. You're afraid of the dog, uh, aren't you? Yes. Good night. Oh, now I really see what's going on. You feel here. that? Oh, what are you talking about? Hey, I don't even want to hear it. Look, I'm an animal and I got instincts. Mm-hmm. She's a princess and I'm... An ogre. An ogre? You're a wonderful ogre. Where you going? To get... Yeah, but you read body language and listen to words. She is into you. <laughs> princess, where are you? Oh. Ah! No, no. Oh, no help! Shh. Shrek! Fiona? Shrek! It's okay, it's okay. Ah, she's an ogre. It's me and this body. Oh, my God. She's an ogre. Can you hear me? That's why she didn't want to be around them in the darkness. Shrek! 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 This is me. Oh. Mm. Oh. Until you find true love's first kiss. Oh. Then... Take love's true form. That's interesting. When I was a little girl, a witch cast a spell on me. Mm. 
Every night I become this. This horrible, ugly beast. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. That's why I have to marry Lord Farquaad tomorrow before the sun sets and he sees me. <laughs> You're not that ugly. And well, well, you, well, you are, I ain't gonna lie, you are ugly. Ugh. You're kind of an ogre. And Shrek, well, you've got a lot in common. Shrek? Yeah, girl, read between the lines. What? I don't really like it, but I thought you might like it because mm. you're pretty. But I like you anyway. I, uh, uh. Always the tough part for a man stuff, figuring out what to say to a woman. Yeah. <laughs> or an ogre, I guess, in this case. Who could ever love a beast so hideous and ugly? Oh. And ugly don't go together. That's why I can't stay here with Shrek. Oh, no. That's just how it has to be. Ah, oh, that's the movie trope. Always hearing and seeing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Promise you won't tell. Promise. All right, all right, I won't tell him. But you should. You know, before this is over, I'm gonna need a whole lot of serious therapy. Look yeah. My eye twitching. <laughs> so if she says she becomes love's truest form, does that mean if she falls in love with Shrek, does that mean she's gonna be an ogre 24 seven? Mm, that's a good point. Tell him not. The petal trope. I tell him. Shrek. There's something I want. He gone. Are you all right? Perfect. Never been better. Oh, you hurt his feelings. Like you said, who could love a hideous, ugly beast? But I thought that wouldn't matter to you. Yeah, well, it does. Oh, God. I've brought you a little something. Bad timing for everyone. Oh, what I miss? What I miss? Couldn't have been a donkey. Now hand it over. Very well, ogre. The deed to your swamp cleared out as agreed. Forgive me, my lord, for I was just saying a short. <laughs> Farewell. It's not like it has feelings. No, you're right. It doesn't. <sighs> I ask your hand in marriage. Ah! Will you be yeah. the perfect bride? For the perfect groom. His hair is perfectly pressed out. I accept. Nothing would make- Excellent! I'll start the plans. For tomorrow we wed! No! I, I mean, uh, let's get married today. Before sunset. I talked to her last night. Jeez! Yeah, I know you talked to her last night. You're great pals, aren't you? Now, if you two are such good friends, why don't you follow her home? Mm. I live alone. My swamp. Me, nobody else, understand? Mm. Especially useless, pathetic, annoying, talking donkeys. But I thought. Yeah, you. You know what? You thought wrong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so true. <laughs> it's a cold and it's a broken house. This is actually so sweet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was a good transition. Emotional transition. What are you doing? I would think of all people you would recognize a wall when you see one. <gasps> this is my swamp. Our swamp. Let go, donkey. You let go. Stubborn jackass. Smelly ogre. Fine. <sighs> hey, 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 come back here. I'm not through with you yet. <laughs> well, I'm through with you. Uh uh. You know what? You is always me, me. Tell him. You are mean to me. You insult me and you don't appreciate anything that I do. Mm. Well, if I treated you so bad, how come you came back? Because that's what friends do. They forgive each other. I heard the two of you talking. She wasn't talking about you. She was talking about uh, somebody else. <laughs> well, then who was she talking about? Uh -uh, no way. I ain't saying anything. You don't want to listen to me, right? Gotta tell him. I guess I am just a big stupid... Ugly ogre. No. Can you forgive me? Oh. That's As what friends, friends do. Before, right? Yeah. Right. Friends? Friends. No. Friends. For life. The wedding. We'll never make it in time. Right. Get to go <laughs> in. But where there's a will, dragon? There's a way, and I have a way. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Yeah. Wow. What a sight. Let's say they'll get there in no time now. Get her. Priest is gonna say, speak now, forever hold your peace. And that's when you say, I object. Oh, I don't have time for this. We don't. 
Look, you love this woman, don't you? Yes. You want to hold her? Yes. Please. Uh, yes. Then you got the got the <laughs> Fletcher, he already said. Oh, for the love of Pete! Ugh. I object! Yeah. That's my girl. You can't marry him. And why not? Because because he's just marrying you so he can be king. Fiona, my love, we're but a kiss away from our happily ever after. Now kiss me. Ew, 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 ew. I wanted to show you before. Oh, here we go. Now, kind of reminds me of the the difference in Beauty and the Beast, where the Beast transforms to a human, now vice versa. Ah. Although we still love her. Uh -huh. Well, uh, that explains a lot. <laughs> this marriage is binding, and that makes me king! See? No. Fiona, I'll have you locked back in that tower for the rest of your days! Oh. I will Trigon! Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I got a dragon here and I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> I'm a donkey on the head. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Celebrity marriages, they never last, do they? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Really? Really, really. Really, really, really. I love you too. Aww. No. I mean, that's the form she takes now. <laughs> Good touch. But I, I don't understand. I'm supposed to be. You beautiful. are. You are, girl. But you are beautiful. Aww. <laughs> You're beautiful inside. Yes. Mm. No. An onion carriage. She's Aww. a woman who knows what she wants. Oh. Everyone got their fairy tale happy ending. Come on, y'all. And I saw her face. Yeah. That's what I want. Eddie Murphy singing. I love it. <laughs> yes. That was the story Sh Shrek read in the bathroom earlier. It was a uh, foreshadowing of his own tale. Oh, oh, oh. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh my God! Finally, I've seen it. Oh good. Right? Yeah, and I love how they were incorporating other fairy tale characters as well, like Pinocchio and Snow White, and all that. That was so cool. And then obviously you got some visual imagery of like the Beauty and the Beast stuff there. It was very emotional and I just appreciated like the themes of um, just stuff like how, hey, beauty is not, you, you know, we shouldn't all be shallow and like just, it's not all about looks. Like you can be beautiful inside as well. Mm -hmm. And that's what we should achieve in relationships, you know? Um, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, of course. And I just appreciated that, <clears throat> excuse me, about uh, Shrek and Fiona's relationship. And I really loved also the, the bondsmanship of uh, Donkey and Shrek's relationship. Mm -hmm. Their interactions were so good. It was just so well done, so well executed. I was just so invested in it. And the animation was so good. There's just so many different layers of onions I could go through. <laughs> No pun intended, or maybe I did intend to say that, but what'd you think of the film? It's so, it's just as good, if not better, than what I remember. It is such a great film, and it does such a fabulous job, if not one of the best, of balancing for kids, but also for adults. Yes. Like, it's a universal movie that I think is such an iconic family movie in that sense, and you don't even have to be watching it with your parents or your kids. Like, I would watch this just as like my on my lonesome mm -hmm. as a full grown adult. It, this is a compliment to the writers. The writing is so funny that you would think Eddie Murphy and Mike Myers wrote it. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much was ad-libbed, but the writing itself is so great and quick witted. The story dealt with so many different dark themes, yes. but did it in yes. such a fun, playful way. I loved it. It was so original while also pulling from so many stories and that's hard to do. Absolutely, yeah, no, you, you said it best, but I think those are the best 
animated films or just films in general where you can incorporate stuff for both children and adults. Mm -hmm. And then also, too, I love stuff that I saw as a child, which obviously is not the case here. I'm just talking maybe for you as well. Like, we're stuff that I saw as a kid and then I can watch as adults go, oh, my God, this was so over my head as a kid. And now I'm watching as an adult. I'm like, now I have such an appreciation for this because now I can relate to these kinds of things as an adult. And especially, like, the darker themes of the film. I mean, like, when she was you know, vocalizing to the bird and it exploded and then she ate the eggs. I'm like, oh my goodness. I was not expecting some of these darker <laughs> things. me. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And the voice work too. So everyone was so perfectly mm -hmm. cast in this, including Lord Farquaad, uh, John Lithgow. Like he was so slimy, so coward, so cowardness. He's the exact opposite of uh, basically what Shrek becomes uh, in the end with his arc. Just so shallow, such a coward. So I, I liked seeing the dichotomy between the two characters and why Fiona was obviously in love with Shrek and uh, you know why she loathed uh, Lord Farquaad. And uh, just again, just such a beautifully told story. I can understand now why it got such a high ring, why it's so beloved. The animation too, it was, not only is it amazing, it's not dated to me in any way. Like, I I, I can't believe this is still 2001. I, I would think, like, watching this, I'm like, this seems like it came out a, a couple of years ago, if anything, or even recently. Like, how good the animation still holds mm -hmm. up. So. Yeah, the animation is so good. The soundtrack, like the we soundtrack. said, is so good. Oh, so good. Such a great, tight story. Lord Farquaad is always talked about still. Mm. All the main characters really are. And, like, you still see people dressing up as them for Halloween. But Lord Farquaad's such a good, funny villain. It's funny because Shrek is one of the only anti-hero characters heroes like there's not many Shrek characters like Shrek where you're disgusting and you're gross and you're a slob but you're also the knight in shining armor at the same time but not being he's still Shrek and he still gets the girl yeah it really flips a lot of things on its back yeah for sure and I really appreciated Shrek's journey just in itself like how everyone judges him right away just from his he's this mm -hmm. big ugly ogre and just that's why he wants to be a left alone because whenever people see him, you know, they get scared of him immediately and then Donkey never judges him like that. And even Fiona, like, I just want my my true love. And then like spending time with them over the day or two that they did. And like, he grew such a fondness and appreciation from them and like saw, oh my God, like I can have this, this is wonderful. And then obviously through the movie tropey, TV tropey thing of hearing something or f walking in at the very wrong time, it's like, uh, we gotta break apart and have the dramatic moment. Right. Which is fine, you know, sometimes that does happen in real life. So I really appreciate it and got so invested in, in that, in Shrek's storyline of just like, just getting acceptance of himself too, of like not, Getting judging other people by looks and stuff of just like falling in love with yourself inside and, and not worrying about what other people think. Mm. So, and I love that he just like realized that he was better off with a family rather than being alone. So yes. I, I just, I thought this movie was extremely deep. And yeah. I appreciate it yeah. so much. And funny. So yes. good. It was very well balanced between the funny and and the dramatic stuff and the dark stuff. Um, so, yeah, it was just a really well-made film. Very good animated yeah. film. This I, is definitely, I loved it so much. Definitely goes down as one of my faves. Love it. And uh, thank you guys for joining us. And we're excited to hopefully continue with Shrek 2. And uh, please, if you haven't already, subscribe, leave a comment, press the subscription button so that you, sub I said subscribe twice, subscribe so that you know when we drop more content and leave a comment for us and we'll see you later. I'm Steph Sabra. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. Much love.